Lachlan Edwards has it on the tee and ready to go. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. This is fielded at the goal line. And here we go. Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Jason Pierre-Paul first burst on the scene for me, headed towards his draft year. You know what I saw him doing? Like 15, 16 backflips in a row on a YouTube video. Athlete. Absolute athlete, and he uses that agility to slip past guys and make plays in the backfield. That draft year 2010, 15th overall pick. 15 yards there on the catch and run. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Play fake here on first down. He'll buy some time right. And it completes it to Jordy Nelson. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Here we go, lady. On first and 10, Stafford. His throw incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver, and it's second down. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Second and 10, Stafford again. Caught left side, Hopkins. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And he finds Julius Thomas. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Hey, 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 quickly, stop. Now a first down carry by Bell. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Their big body receiver. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Caleb Sturgis now for the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. Now after the touchdown, it's Sturgis to send it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line.
And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Brady now on first down. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And now it's second down. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. Brady will try again on second down. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. This is Collins on the handoff. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. On second down, here's Brady. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Fresh set of downs here. Throwing on first down is Brady. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Alex Collins that time. And that'll bring up second down. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. So the D-line's going to spread out. Brady again here on second and ten. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. But fortunately, the Saints were able to hold on to it, so they will indeed keep possession. A place like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The... And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Travis Kelsey, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they get 28 yards on that one. And the Cowboys are going to get a first down. 
And I guess, Charles, sometimes when you have a receiver well over six foot, you do that. Just put it up there, let him grab it, and he did. And it's sir, DeAndre Hopkins. He's all alone. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. A shotgun snap for Hunter. Pressure down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Cameron Wake able to get him for a loss of about three. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. They'll come out in the pistol. Now Stafford. He can't bring him down. The weight room does work. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. Play action. Stafford out to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Cameron Wake in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did. And he missed it. It's no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, and you're not going to too many attempts shorter than that one. I don't think anyone got a finger on it. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Now Brady trying to fight his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. And how about this? It's the other Brandon Marshall that picks it off. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. And now here come the Cowboys. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points in today's NFL. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. An acrobatic catch. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. And it was a tight window. He knew he had to rocket that thing in there. He got it done. And when you're able to complete one like that, your confidence has to just go sky high. You just mentioned it. Tight window. Zings it in there despite excellent coverage. Result, touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Sturgis to send it away. This is taken near the 13. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Kelsey out in the slot right. Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off by his former Super Bowl teammate, Darrell Revis. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Now the Cowboys' offense heads back onto the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. Blitz coming, and down he goes. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback, right in the face of him, puts him down. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Under pressure, and they got to him again. 
And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise. They're in the dime. Third and long, it's Stafford. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And this ball is going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. And this is going to be incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Brady going to throw, and that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Now Brady, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Kelsey out in the slot right. Brady now on first down. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the safety, Calvin Pryor. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it, and they'll take it out to the 25. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because there's confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? Oh, Travis Kelsey unable to pull it in. And it's second down. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. So second and ten here. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. Brady will try again on second down. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Obviously this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. They go play action here on first down. 
Over the middle, he's got Tim Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Now Brady throwing on second down. He's got and he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Mike Daniels in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Brady now to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. So now Travis Coons on for the field goal try. This one from 46 yards out. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. So it goes down as an eight-play drive, and they cap it with the field goal. Yeah, they were able to pick up a few first downs along the way, but they couldn't keep the momentum going all the way into the end zone. To return it, here's Reggie Bush. And yeah, they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. It's actually utilized more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy. Maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put in. Yeah, I didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Shift together here from the D-line. On first down at Stafford. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves them with five more. Third and five now. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. And the offense in that middle ground here on third down. Five yards to go. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here comes the D swarming to the line. They stay on the ground. This time it's Stewart. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there to swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. Here's Stafford. And he finds Julius Thomas. 
Give him 16 yards on the play. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't. But now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. To throw on second down to Stafford. That's caught. It's Thomas. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. From the gun, here's Stafford. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Most like that in just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. On second down, here's Stafford. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Julius Thomas, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. It's good, and it's 21-10. After the touchdown, it's Sturgis to send it away. This is taken near the 13. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Brady looking to throw on third and two. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver. And that brings up fourth down. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now Brady got to have this one. Time for a break. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. We're back to finish this one off after this.